In this video, I will talk about five reasons why you should consider doing your bachelor's or master's degree in Finland. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Oliver and I'm a master's student in economics at Aalto University in Finland. And on this channel, we talk about education and early career development, specifically here in Finland. So if you are new here, do consider subscribing. So the first reason why you should come to study in Finland is because of the high level of education and the great schools that we have in the country. So Finland has been ranked year after year as one of the best countries globally in terms of our education system and the World Economic Forum ranks the quality of higher education in Finland as third best in the entire world. Not only do our universities fare well in international rankings, but Finland also ranks extremely high in terms of innovation and the quality and quantity of research and development. The Finnish higher education system offers more than 400 English-taught bachelor's and master's degree programs in 13 different universities and 22 universities of applied sciences. These schools already house more than 20,000 international students across different campuses around Finland. If you are a citizen of a European Union or European Economic Area country, you can receive both your bachelor's and your master's level degrees free of charge, meaning that you don't have to pay any tuition fees for your education. However, if you are not a citizen of a EU or EEA country, don't worry, there are great scholarship options available for every single university in Finland. Moving on, the second reason for you to study in Finland is because of the relaxed and independent studying culture. So university studies in Finland are deemed overall more relaxed compared to many other countries where students have to sit in the library 24-7 with the goal of being in the best percentile of students just in order to do well in their careers. So while yes, there is of course competitiveness in Finnish universities and doing well in school will reflect positively on your career, doing well in your career is not only dependent on your GPA or the courses that you take. Actually, it is pretty commonly accepted that sitting in the library 24-7 trying to perfect your GPA without really doing anything else with your life will actually hurt you in the long term because of the emphasis that we put on practical skills and personal networks when it comes to job hunting in Finland. This means that you are not only encouraged but also expected to have fun, take part in different student activities, volunteer in student organizations, and simply enjoy the Finnish student culture. Again, while you should try to generally do well in school, it should not mean that you have to sacrifice your free time and university experience just in order to get a good GPA. The relaxed studying culture in Finland is also reflected by the concept of academic freedom. Academic freedom means that no one is going to be breathing down your neck, making sure that you pass your courses and do things in a certain way. On the contrary, students in Finland have almost full autonomy on their studies, starting from planning the structure of their degree all the way to when and how to execute their personal study plans. This also means that students are very independent and while no one will be watching over your shoulder, it also means that no one is going to be holding your hand either. Rather, you are fully responsible for your own studies and success. And this can mean that if you come from a culture where students are not necessarily used to working that independently, I would definitely start practicing because if not, you will be in for a rude awakening when you come to Finland. The funny thing is that even though our university experience in Finland is more relaxed and uh, people have more time, for example, to party and to volunteer in student organizations, this does not reflect negatively on the skills of our university graduates. The World Economic Forum ranks the skill sets of Finnish university graduates as third best in the entire world. So it seems that not only is studying in Finland a bit more relaxed, but at the same time, Finnish universities produce some of the highest skilled professionals in the entire world. Funny that. So the next reason for you to study in Finland is because of the awesome student culture. So university students in Finland love to take everything out of their university experience. And this means taking part in different celebrations, parties, career events, and other fun activities that the local student communities organize around the year. 
Talking about student communities, the Finnish student culture basically revolves around different student unions, associations, and other type of organizations that organize the majority of all student activities. In Finland, unlike in many, for example, Central European countries, it is super popular to volunteer in some of these organizations. Volunteering in a student organization can mean anything between setting up a few dinner parties, to organizing huge multi-sport events, to even working at the world's leading startup event called Slush. So while this might sound like work, and to be honest, some of it actually is, volunteering in student organizations is mostly just a really cool way of hanging out with other awesome students while working on some fun and cool projects. In addition, volunteering can be a great way for you to grow your CV, especially if you don't yet have a lot of prior work experience. Not only do Finnish employers appreciate this kind of volunteer experience, but you can actually gather some really good real-life skills and work experience that you would not be able to get otherwise. Also, important parts of the Finnish student culture are, of course, the student overalls and the white graduation caps that you can see university students wear around Finland. It is actually pretty normal to see students walk around the city streets wearing their overalls, because these are what we wear to most student parties. This comes especially apparent during late spring, when students around Finland start to celebrate the start of the summer and the over-month-long 1st of May celebrations. So before we continue to the next section of this video, let me stop for just a second to thank HOAS for their continuous support with the channel. So HOAS, or the Foundation for Student Housing in the Helsinki region, is a non-profit foundation that rents builds and maintains housing for students in the Helsinki metropolitan area. I've been living in their apartments throughout my studies, and I really recommend that you apply for one of their almost 10,000 apartments in the Helsinki region. More information about HOAS and their student apartments through the links in the description box below. All right, so the next reason to study in Finland is the high demand for university-educated talent in the country. Companies in Finland are constantly looking for new employees, and many of the best employers in the country are actively trying to find new and potential talents directly from the universities. Many of these companies do this by participating in different events, sponsoring student organizations, and collaborating with the schools on course and thesis projects. Because there is such high competition on the best future talents, companies want to be visible in your day-to-day -day life as a student as early as possible, even if you aren't necessarily able to apply for their jobs in the first years. However, the further you get in your studies, the more corporate collaborations you will come by and the more job opportunities will be presented to you by the different companies. Especially in fields like computer sciences or finance, competition over the best talent is super fierce, and companies are working hard to building their own employer brands in order to attract the best potential employees now and in the future. As mentioned, many companies work together with student organizations, and they actually pay really good money to different guilds and subject clubs in order to participate in their career events all throughout one's university career. So in addition to the career opportunities that you can get through the university itself, the demand for university graduates can also be seen by the growth of different recruitment companies. For those of you who don't yet know, I actually used to work for a company called Atalent Recruiting, which is a recruitment company founded by other university students and alumni organizations. Atalent is specialized in hiring university-educated talents, and while I was working there, we grew almost 50% per year. In addition to Atalent, there are actually multiple other recruitment companies specializing in hiring university students and graduates, and the entire market was growing super fast before 2020 and the COVID crisis hit and the market crashed completely. Anyways, this is just one more indicator for the huge demand that exists for highly educated talents. Of course, as a caveat and as a disclaimer here, even though there is high demand for highly educated talent in Finland, finding a job in Finland, especially as a student and even as a recent graduate, is still not easy. I've heard many international people talk about how difficult it is to find a job in Finland, and this is actually partly why I started this entire channel, and why I'm currently working on a comprehensive course on job hunting in Finland. 
This course will go through everything that you need to know about finding a job in Finland, and the goal is to have this course available early January 2021. So if you are interested in hearing more about this course and its contents, make sure to join our Discord server, where I will share more information closer to the launch date. Link to join the server is in the description box below. Alright, so the next reason for you to do a degree in Finland is that students here enjoy a huge amount of great benefits that makes life as a student not only awesome, but also more affordable. Not only do students in Finland have access to affordable student apartment, like through Hoas, but we are also privy to other great benefits and discounts, courtesy both of the Finnish government and private businesses. Just a few examples include discounted student meals, uh, public transportation, airline tickets, mobile phone services, utilities, insurances, etc. So using these discounts can save you a lot of money in the long term, and many people in Finland would actually like to stay in school just in order to be able to utilize these benefits as long as possible. There's actually quite a lot to this topic that I cannot go through in this video, so if you're interested in learning more about student benefits in Finland, check out this video right here. So in order to use these student discounts, you have to be registered as an attending student, and you have to also have an active student card. So you're able to get a student card once you have been admitted to study in Finland, and if you're interested in learning more about this topic, I have a dedicated video about student cards and how to order one right here, so go ahead and check that out as well. Next, I recommend that you watch this video for more general information about Finland and this playlist where I explain everything you need to know before relocating here as a student. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.